My name is Mike Sang and this is FPV One Wheel. I'm going to try to ride the One Wheel while flying the 85X using the video feed to see where I'm going through the goggles. Cine hoop. What is a cine hoop? It's basically a tiny quad that can record HD footage. It's, rel it's a relatively new thing. A lot of people were hacking away the case on a GoPro to save weight and strapping them on a Beta 75X. It's basically a tiny hoop that can record HD footage. Beta FPV listened and they made the 85X HD. There are two versions of the 85X. There's a standard version and then there's the HD version. The only difference is the camera. The standard version comes with the Cadex EO2 which I have in my 75X and this camera is so much better than the stock camera that came with the 75X. The HD version comes with a Cadex Turtle V2. They were kind enough to send me the HD version so that's what I'll be reviewing in this video. The 85X standard weighs 58 grams but the HD version weighs 75 grams which is a little bit heavy for a tiny hoop but we'll see how it flies uh, when we test it. It uses 1105 6000 kV motors with the Emax Avan 2 inch 4 blade propellers, uses a F405 processor, has Betaflight OSD, uh, smart audio for VTX controls, 16 amp constant 25 amp burst BL Heli 32 ESCs. It's crazy how powerful they've been able to make these tiny hoop ESCs. I remember back in the days when we first started they used 16 amp ESCs for a big full size quad. The VTX has a selectable output of 25 and 200 milliwatts and uses a custom Axi antenna. I'm really glad that Beta FPV finally decided not to use that flimsy Lexan material that they use in all their other quads. The 85X HD version now uses what looks like to be a super durable and thick polycarb material. It may be too thick. It looks kind of heavy, but for people who are buying this quad, weight may not be an issue. Uh, more on this later. Originally, the 85X was listed to be able to run 2 to 4S batteries, but it seems like some people's quads were catching on fire when they try to use 4S, so it's listed as 2 to 3S now which I'll be testing on 3S and uh, we'll see how it flies. The camera it uses is what makes this whoop special. It's got a Cadex Turtle V2 HD camera. It's called HD because the camera is connected to this board and you can insert a memory card directly in this board and you can record HD footage from the FPV camera at 1080p up to 60 frames per second with audio because it has a little microphone right here. Um, I just wrapped mine in foam and heat shrinked it to try to cut down on the the level of sound because I've seen some videos online where the sound is just completely terrible because it's, it's, I bet it's just way too loud inside the canopy for this microphone. But anyways, the video feed that you can see that you see in the goggles is still standard definition though. But it's still a really cool camera system because you can record HD footage without needing without needing to strap on an additional camera like a GoPro. The 85X now uses this frame that's black. I don't know if the black frame is more flexible than the white frames that they used to use on the 75X, but don't be fooled by these prop guards. On 3S, if you fly this into yourself, you will get hurt. Check this out. This was yesterday on 3S. Ooh. Ooh. I'm really curious to see how the turtle performs and if there's any lag. Let's go test the lag. My name is Mike Sang and this is FPV One Wheel. I'm going to try to ride the One Wheel while flying the 85X using the video feed to see where I'm going through the goggles. <laughs>
All right, guys, I tried, but it is just way too windy right now to be flying a quad. I don't know if you can see this, but it is the wind is blowing 19 miles per hour right now. And for a tiny little quad like this, I had trouble even just keeping this thing level so I can see where I was going. I tried three times and three times I crashed. Uh, I'm in the con on the concrete right now, so I'm tired of crashing. And uh, we're just gonna get some regular footage with this thing, with me sitting on the floor flying this thing. the 85 x hd um today was actually a terrible day to be testing any kind of quad with the wind being um, like almost 20 miles per hour but i've been flying this quad for the past uh, week or so and the 75 grams uh, for the quad you can definitely feel it it is a really heavy quad but considering what it is it's a cine hoop it's a tiny hoop that can that can record hd footage in one small package without the need for an hd camera is is actually a really cool quad but if you're looking for something for speed this is definitely not it the 85x is not built for speed it's built for getting hd footage so if you're looking for a all-in-one ready to fly cine hoop uh, quad something like small with prop guards that can get hd footage um, you might take a look at the 85x hd but if you're looking for something with speed um, Look, look at something else because this is definitely not it. So I hope you found this video entertaining. Give me a thumbs up and put a comment in the comments below and let me know what you think about this video, what you think about the quad. Do you have the 85X HD or are you into cine hoop type stuff? And uh, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.